Greetings, boys and girls. Today, we're gonna to be talking about partial products multiplication. Now, the sub has passed out a worksheet that looks like this, bringing it in a little closer. Okay, you're gonna to need to make sure your first and last name is on it at the very top. All right, now, if you had a chance to watch our videos last, well, Monday night's video, you had a chance to see how we did the partial products. We start with the boxes, and what we did is we added an extra row, and then we added a space where we're gonna do our addition. So the first thing is we're gonna take a problem. First problem is gonna be 45 times 18. So on your worksheet, I want you to go ahead and next to number one, write 45 times 18. We can put equals and draw a line because that's what we're going to figure out. Now, and I want you doing this as I'm doing this, we're going to go across the top, say 40 plus 5, because what I did is I took my 45 and I broke it up into expanded form. And then on the side of my box, I'm going to break 18 up as 10 plus eight. So across the top, I have 40 plus five and going down the side, I have 10 plus eight. Now in the first box, I have 40 and 10 meeting together. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply 40 times 10. Well, what is 40 times 10? That is 400. Hopefully you guys said that. So I wrote equals 400 in my box. Right over here, I have 10 meeting with five. So I can say five times 10 or 10 times five. And that we all know equals 50. So I'm writing 50. In the next box, I have 40 meeting with eight. So I will simply write 40 times eight. What does that equal? Well, I know four times eight is 32 and I add one zero to the end. So I'll have 320. And in my last box, I have five meeting with eight. So that is five times eight, which equals 40. Now we have the next section of our boxes and this is blank. I'm gonna use this section right over here to add my partial products so I can get to my final answer. So I'm adding 400 plus 320 plus 50 plus 40. When I get ready to add all these zeros, zero plus zero plus zero plus zero plus zero, I get zero. Zero plus two plus five plus four, that's seven plus four, which is 11, carry my one. One plus four plus three would be eight. So my final answer would be 810. If I wanna check the reasonableness of my answer, I would simply make an estimate. 45, I would round that to 50, and I'd multiply 50 by 18, which would be rounding to 20 and I'd get five times two, which is 10, and then add two zeros to the end. 1,000. 1,000 is fairly close to 810. It's not too far off. So my answer does seem reasonable. Therefore, my answer is 810. Write your answer in the box for number one. We're now gonna do another one together. Now, thankfully, you have all of your boxes there. You don't have to erase. I'm gonna erase mine. For our next problem, we are going to look at 23 times 93. This is number two. Take a, a moment and record that. 
The very first thing I get ready to do when I use partial products is I write my numbers in expanded form. So I'm going to put 20 plus 3, because that's the expanded form of 23, across the top. And then on the side, I'm going to write 90 plus 3. So for my first box, I'm going to see that 20 and 90 meet. So I can write 20 times 90. Well, I know 2 times 9 is 18. Therefore, 20 times 90 would be 18 with two zeros. 1,800. In the next box, I have 3 meeting with 90. So I'm multiplying 3 times 90. And I know 2 times 3 is 27, and I just add one zero to the end, so 270. For my bottom right box, I'm sorry, bottom left box, I'm multiplying 20 times 3. 2 times 3 is 6, and I add one zero to the end. And then my final box, I'm multiplying 3 times 3 which would equal nine. Now I have part of my product, part of my product, part of my product, and a fourth part of my product. To find my actual product for 23 times 93, I'm gonna come over to the right side of my boxes and I'm gonna add my partial products together. So I have 1,800 plus 270 plus 60 plus nine. Zero plus zero plus zero plus nine is nine. 0 plus 7 plus 6 would be 13. I'll carry my 1. 1 plus 8 would be 9 plus 2 would be 11. Carry my 1. And then 1 plus 1 would be 2. So my answer is 2,139. To check the reasonableness of my answer, I can find an estimate. I know that 20 could be rounded to, sorry, 23 could be rounded to 20, and I'd multiply that by 93, which would be rounded to 90. So 20 times 90 would equal 1,800, and my answer of 2,139 is not super duper far off, okay? It's not even double. So my answer is relatively reasonable. And my answer is 2,139. Make sure you record your answer. Okay, I'm going to take a moment and just erase my boxes now as we get ready for our third problem. For number three, we're going to multiply 23 times 11. Make sure you write our multiplication problem on the line next to, well, there's no line, but next to number three on your problem sheet. Okay, first thing we do is we break our numbers out into expanded form. 20 plus three. After that, we break our second number into expanded form. 10 plus one. In my first box, 10 and 20 are meeting. So I'm gonna multiply 20 times 10, which would equal 200. This next box, I'm multiplying 3 times 10, which would equal 30. This box down here, I'm multiplying 20 times 1. Ooh, that's an easy one. I love multiplying by 1s. Just 20. And our final box is 3 times 1, which is also going to equal 3. Right over here. In my right box, I'm going to add my partial products. 
So I'm adding 200 plus 30 plus 20 plus 3. 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 3 is 3. 0 plus 3 plus 2 is 5. 2 plus nothing is 2. So my answer would be 253. To check for the reasonableness of my answer, I would find an estimation. That's about 20 times 11 would be rounded to 10. So I would get around 200. And my actual product is not too far from that. So my actual product would be 253. Boys and girls, for number four, you are going to multiply 23 times 22. I want you to write this down. And for number five, you are going to multiply. Let's do a different one. 48 times 16. For number six, you're going to multiply 80 times 12. That one should be easy. Some of you may not even need to use the box for it, but I want to see that you can solve that using our box approach. For seven, you're going to multiply 17 times 34. So if we were writing these down on your sheet, because this is what you're solving, and then finally, 8 through 12, you're going to use the word problems on the separate sheet that the sub has given you to solve. So 8 through 12, those are word problems, but you will solve them using the boxes on this sheet. To do this assignment, it really should not take you more than 30 minutes. This, I want you to be thoughtful. I want you to mark up your word problems and solve them. Make sure that your first and last name is on your word problem page as well as on your partial products page. I look forward to seeing your great work. Take care. And remember, make really, really, really good choices for the sub. I'm looking for the five names that she says were just amazing students.